common. But then I think one of the coolest things that I thought is that afterwards we got in a circle and we were able to talk about really, really just share about who we are and what our faith means to us. So we were able to talk about what are the what's a current event that happened that we feel has really impacted us. You know, we talked about what are the pressures that we kind of feel even within our faith and outside of our faith. What is our favorite holiday? We really were able to just learn, express who we are. And from that, we saw that we had a lot of things in common. And I mean, I felt like we were so close with everybody here. And it was, I remember one key thing that I thought was powerful is my sister Sally talked about how she can feel uncomfortable or feel people would judge her even just wearing a backpack um, because she's Muslim. And I mean, that really resonated powerfully with me feeling at times when I'm uncomfortable wearing a hoodie feeling that I might be seen as a threat. So I was really able to connect with a lot of people. And I was really able to connect with a lot, everybody here. And um, I think that really set the grounds for what we wanted to talk about, which was all pretty much dehumanization. The songwriting aspect, we started out with just a conversation about uh, dehumanization. And we just had people writing down all the important things that we said. And a lot of the lyrics from the song came from just something that somebody said. Even the, the name Rehumanize is something that Trey just said in conversation. And that's how we came up with the lyrics. So where are you all from and how did you get chosen and what are your ages? Well, uh, uh, well I'm 14 and uh, I found out about the program through my teacher at my school. Uh, and he introduced it to my older brother who could not attend so I was plan B. But, uh, <laughs> I'm 19 and I learned it from Jason and my family because like we're all really close and they really want me to participate in this and I don't regret um, doing it and yeah I love it and uh, and I'm from Tuscany. <laughs> uh, I'm 17 and I'm Lebanese Canadian but I'm from Riverside Dana. Um, I learned it for I'm new in this organization from Amani and she told us an encouragement to come here. Um, I am 17. Um, I'm actually currently studying at Soka University of America. So, yeah, okay, cool, 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 yeah. So I'll be living there for the next four years. So I'm going to be to Lisa Viejo. But I'm from Monterey Park. And um, I learned about this program because I work with this organization called the My Hero Project. And um, they were able to connect me with the music in common because they know that I'm very passionate about helping others and I love music, so I'm so eternally grateful to be a part of this program. Really I'm 17 and I'm from Tustin, and I heard about it through my cantor at my temple, who happens to be Jason, and he encouraged me to come, and it's amazing. Um, I'm 15. I heard it from my aunt, Manny. Um, I am Lebanese, but I live in Utah right now. Yeah. <laughs> I also found out about this through her and Amani, 